that up, kind of. Go, you know, how are you soaking it in? How much are you liking Liam's new uh, new take on the offense? Here? I like it a lot. He's taught the whole his NFL kind of upbringing to us. He was definitely a different view of everything. And I can see his, his professionalism, just not just from X's and O's, but how he goes about teaching us the whole offense. The he can really teach every single position on the offense. But I like all that he's doing. I really like how he handles himself when he's coaching us all types of things. football. Well, in year two for you, what's the thing or a couple things you're really working on, uh, focusing on trying to improve this season? I mean, a big thing for me is more just my footwork, getting my feet quicker to the offense. And, Staying in rhythm with the receivers. It's one thing with our offense with a lot of types of plays with drop back passes where it's better to get in rhythm with the receivers instead of maybe hurrying back to get your drop back as fast as you can. It's more about staying in rhythm and staying in pace with the whole play. Well your teammates describe as a player's coach and really like how he relates to you guys. What makes him a good player? What stands out? He just understands that for a college student, college student athlete, that there's a lot of stuff that could be going on with all, all these types of guys' lives. From, it could be a way, I mean, for me, I'm from Lexington, so it's not as difficult for me sometimes, but some person could be homesick or has some problems going on at home with their family. And coach Cohen can handle all types of different adversity he's facing. Do you think his age has something to do with that? I think definitely a little bit. He definitely is more, he could be a little more relative to us than some other coaches compared to the coaches on the staff right now. But it does, and it, I think even as he ages on, he'll still stay. Well, this is your third offense, I think, in the last four years, dating back to high school. Yes. How different is it, and how well does it fit your skill set? It's the main difference to me is kind of goes back to just the philosophies of throwing the football. Like the previous years I've had is a lot of type of kind of a spread more like a more spread type philosophy of dropping back as fast as you can, and not as much about rhythm of a play. And now we're in the huddle. There's a lot more. It's a lot more about your kind of style of how you go about yourself, which you're talking to your teammates in the huddle, how you go about it once you break the huddle and go to the line. There's a lot more type of non-actual football things that matter in this type of offense. Hey, Bo, uh, when you're throwing in the summer, um, over the summer, everybody's talking about Juan Dale and Josh Ali, obviously. Is there any receivers that are really making moves that caught your eye outside of those two? I mean, there's a bunch all throughout the roster. There's freshmen coming up. There's guys who have been here for a while that have always been good plays for us. I know there'll be definitely Juan Dale and Josh will make a bunch of plays also be a bunch of other guys in the field that will also. What's the most important trait, you know, for the guy that's out there on Saturdays? I think just to have a confidence about himself and not a cockiness. You gotta have the ability to do all make all types of throws, all types of reads as fast as you can, but also keep the team <laughs> under control. If anything gets too hot, if it's a big moment, you gotta stay cool and stay collected. Liam earlier today said he wants the quarterback to be the face of the program. That's not been necessarily really the case. Here yeah, last I, think, I think that's huge. I think, yeah, I know with how well we've, how well our defense has played and how well we've ran the ball it has faded away from that a little bit. But I think that that is huge to the program. I think there's a lot of great programs that win SEC championships and win national championships. A lot of times the quarterback is the face of the program. Yeah, I mean, you were in shotgun in high school, shotgun last year. How much more under center? We, we will be. We'll see kind of a lot more through camp, but we definitely have a lot more plays in practice than I've ever had in my life as an under center. But it's good to get, it's, it's good to do that for myself. It's good to more and more tips and tricks and kind of what we see on Sundays. And it's helping myself as a quarterback and it's helping me learn a lot more about the football. Well, your dad had to be pretty patient before he got his shot right here. Have y'all talked about that much? Because that comes with playing quarterback. I'd say like a little bit, but. Um, we always talk about whenever I'm on the field and whenever my shot is this year, um, always just always got to be ready no matter what, well, like whatever the situation is. With us competing this year, I know all of us will be ready to play at any time. And me and my dad just talked about just whenever you're on the field, just play, play your heart down and play the best you can. Well, how do you think of like, open competition like this? Not only at your position, but as we're the offseason for the team, kind of knowing that this is something like that. I think it's good. I think. All the guys know on the team, and kind of me, Will, and Joey are real good, real, real good friends, and real close. And we all know that we want the best quarterback to start, and we all want ourselves to start. And we all want the best for the team, and I know all the other teammates do. It's good. It's going to make all of us better. You talked about the footwork. What was that like to kind of go outside of the program and, and work extra, you know, with another coach? And just what was that talk like? Coach Stoops asking if that was all right. Yeah, I, I always thought just with. Uh, 
kind of this summer, I've never had like a personal quarterback coach, and I talked with Coach Cohen about it as well. And me and Will actually both, both work with the same guy, and he's Will's worked with him a little bit longer than I have, so he's a little more advanced in his type of teachings than I am. But he's just helped me with my footwork and just getting power and more velocity with the throw, and kind of having more on my body and less on my arm. That's helped out a lot. When did you start to feel the comfort zone with your softness? Uh, I mean, you know, you play last spring. What, what part did you really start to think? I'd say there was a couple of plays, or maybe during the scrimmage, you feel pretty comfortable. I get, a, I get a little bit of a rhythm going. And then even the most comfortable I've felt is probably in the past couple of walkthroughs, just having like a spring spring camp with it, going through the whole offense, and knowing plays before they ever talk to you, just hearing the same things over and over again also help out and just feel comfortable with an offense.